So the first thing we want to do from within our code is to add a new achievement to the achievement menu because we need to create the achievement before we can earn it. So the thing we need to do from the code is to find out what kind of category we want to add the achievement to and when we have found the category well then we should take uh, the achievement prefab and add it to that category for example general here so when we add it it will show up inside the achievement menu. So to do that we need to create a new script. So select your asset folder, right click on it, press create and then find the folder and call it scripts. When you have created that folder double click on it and go into it and then select create and select the sharp script. And the script I'm going to make is going to be called um, achievement manager. So this manager is basically got just going to be sitting on a game object called Achievement Manager. So go to your hierarchy, click Create, um, click on Create Empty, press F2 on it, and then rename it to Achievement Manager. When you've done that, you can take your new script and drag it onto the Achievement Manager. So now we are sure that this manager is here, and this manager is going to have the responsibility of making sure that the player gets the achievement when he's supposed to get it and creating all the achievements and adding them to the menu and uh, and etc all these things so it's going to manage all the achievements so when you create that you can double click on it to open it so the first thing i need to do inside the script is to make a reference to the achievement prefab because this script is going to have the um, functionality of finding a parent inside our category inside our scene and adding an achievement to that category so that we can see it in our menu and to do that we actually need a reference to the prefab so we need to make a public game object called achievement prefab and this prefab is going to be equal to that prefab that we just created before so down here we're going to make a new function called public void create achievement and this function needs to know what kind of category it should put the achievement under so for now we just need to add one parameter called um, st string um, category so that we can find the parent. Um, so first we're going to do this step by step. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a new achievement and it's equal to instantiate achievement prefab and we're just going to cast it as a game object here. Okay, so right now we're not going to use the achievement for anything, but I just want to show you what happens and why we are go doing this stuff. So we have our achievement prefab and we are instantiating it here and we might as well do that in start. So if you go to start and say create achievement and general, then we are creating an achievement on the general ca category, but we're not adding it to the general category yet. So if you jump back into Unity and you find your achievement manager here you'll see that there is a public game object here because we made this one public this achievement pre prefab is public so we can see it out here if it wasn't public we wouldn't be able to see it and we need to find our prefab to get a reference to it inside our script so just drag it from here into this empty slot so if we run our game now you'll see that we have a problem so we just created and you'll see these red X's down here in the top left corner. And the reason that we have these X's is because we didn't instantiate it and give it as a child as a, a make it a child of the any of these categories here. So somewhere here we have an achievement. Um let's see if I can find it. Yeah, we have it up here, of course, because we didn't instantiate it under anything. And if I would put that under the general category, you'll see that it actually becomes a uh, child object of it and it's visible here. So don't mind the scaling right now, we'll fix that as well. So step one is to make sure that our achievement is a child object of the general category or whatever category we want it to be. So if we jump back into our code, we can make sure that this uh, new achievement here becomes a child object of one of the categories.
So to do that, I want to add a new function. So public void set achievement info. And this function is basically going to set all the achievement info when we're done. Right now, it's only going to set the parent, but later it's going to set the parent's title, not the parent, the achievement's title, um, which is the name and the description and the points and which sprite to show on it and everything. So we are going to build on onto this uh, function here slowly. But f for now, just take the category and we also need to give it the game object called achievement so that it knows which game object to change. Okay, so from here in our create achievement, we need to call the set achievement info function we just made and we need to give it the category and we need to give it the achievement we just made here so that we call the set achievement function from within our create achievement. Okay, so our set achievement um, function here should set the parent first of all. So we need to say our achievement that transform the parent that set parent it's called and that should be equal to game object that find category. So what we are doing here is that we are setting the parent of the achievement we just created and when we've done that we will actually Sorry, uh, category dot transform of course. Uh, category no dot transform. There we go. Yes. Okay. There we go. So what we are doing here in the set achievement is that we are f uh, giving it the category to find, for example, general, and then we are giving it the achievement it should set the parent for. So we say the achievement the transform dot set parent. So we're going to set the parent, and then we are going to find a game object by saying game object dot find. And then we're going to put in the category, and this would be general in this instance. And then we will set the transform of that category to the parent of this achievement. So right now we're searching for general, and if we go out in our game here, you'll see that uh, general is a uh, is a name here, and under our categories here we also have general. So these are buttons. So I would like to rename them so when I try to find a game object called general, I'm not going to put it under one of the buttons instead. So press F2 and rename this to general btn, for example, and other btn, so that we can always differ the correct place to place our achievements and the wrong place to place them. So if we run our game now, you'll see that our achievement actually ends up at the correct position inside our uh, parent here so that we can see it but as you have noticed it's a little too big and if you click on the achievement here you'll notice that the scale is off it's 1.07 instead of 1 so we need to fix this so to fix this we need to go back into our set achievement info and say achievement dot transform that local scale equals new vector free and then say 1 1 1 so this basically sets the scale back to 111 and the reason that we need to do that is because when we're transferring stuff around and putting it under another object and everything uh, the scales are changing apparently according to unity so if we run it now you'll see that the achievement fits perfectly inside our area here where we want to place it so the next thing we need to do is to add in the information of the achievement which is the name the description and the points so we're gonna make something now that we're gonna change a little later when we get further into tutorial but I want to show you how this works before we actually take it to a more advanced level so if we go to the script again then we need to change this create achievements uh, function a little or we need to add stuff to it because we need to give in string title and we need to give in the in points how many points we should uh, set it to and what else we need to give a description so, so I'm gonna put that in front of the points actually string description and we need to do the exact same thing down here we have the category and the achievement and then we need to dot string title comma string description comma in point 
points actually instead of point. Um, and we need to give them in here. So we give the title, we give the description, and we give in the points. So down here in our set achievement info, we need to use this functionality, all these titles and description and everything to set on the exact game object. And to do that, we need to know where these are placed because if we add our achievement to our game, let's just do it like this, then you'll see underneath the achievement here, we have some different children. So title is child zero, description is child one, and points is child uh, two and image is child free but we're gonna leave the image out right now we're gonna change it later but for now let's add these three so jump back into your code so it's zero zero one and two so to do this we need to say achievement dot transform that get child zero which was the title that get component text and the reason that we write text is because that, um, if we jump out here in Unity, you'll see that our title here has the component text on it. So we're actually saying on achievement, we'll get child zero, and on that child, we'll get the component text so that it, we can actually ch change this text from within our code. So if I jump back here, you'll see that there's a red line. And the reason that there's a red line is because we haven't implemented the namespace unity.ui, I think. So if you have Visual Studio, you can right click on the text, go to resolve and click using unity.ui. Go all the way to the top here, you'll see that using unity.ui has been added. And if you don't have Visual Studio, you can just add this line yourself by writing using unity.ui. So when you've done that, we need to not write I do, but the text to say well we we're getting the text component that text to get this text in here and we're gonna set that text as um, equal to the what was it title so now we have set the title and we need to do the same things so the next one we need to do was the first child here and if you remember the first child was the description so that text equals description and then we have the third child which should be the points so copy this paste it underneath and take second because it's the third because zero one two and that should be equal to points to string and i have to write to string because points is of the data type integer yes. so now when we go up here if we go to our create achievement you'll see that it asks for a category comma it asks for a title so we can call this um, test title or something ah, let's do it something else let's just yeah test just do that and our description this is the, the description um, and the point should be for example 10 points Okay, so now we have created our achievement. Let's save this. And yeah, I don't think we'll get any errors. Let's give it a go and see what happens. So now we just added an achievement underneath. Let's just delete this again. Remove that one we have already and run it again. So we have a, an achievement called test title. This is the description. It's written underneath it and then we have 10 points as we added so now we can add an achievement with a uh, title description and points so the next thing we need to do is to change the image from within our code so if we jump back into our code we should go all the way to the top here and in here we need to create a new array that contains all these sprites because that's the easiest way to handle them so we can make this array with for example 10 sprites in it and then we can just pick whatever sprite we want and put it on top of our achievement so create a public sprite uh, array here and call it sprites and then we need to go to our um, achievement info here and we need to tell this um, achievement set achievement info 
which camera sprite we want. So we need to add one more thing here called int sprite index. And this index is used to access, uh, used for accessing this sprite array and then picking one of the sprites inside it. So you need to know what sprite is on which position. So if you have the pineapple on position zero, well, then you need to know it's on position zero if you're going to create a pineapple achievement, for example. So int sprite index, and we need to do the same here, comma, integer sprite index. And we need to add it here, of course, comma, sprite index. So we need to say achievement transform that get child free that get component and now we don't need to get the text notice that the child number free on an achievement I don't know if you can see it here is an image so we need to get the image component instead so image dot sprite equals and it should be equal to our sprites images what do we need? sprites there we go and it should be sprite index to access the correct position there we go so this function looks in the sprite sp sprites uh, array and finds the sprite index that we want for example zero and then takes out that uh, sprite on that position and puts it into the sprite so here we need to say index zero for example so if we add it here if we jump back into our project here you'll see if we select our achievement manager we have this sprites array here and we should have let's say we have five places so you'll see element zero well that's one of the sprites and element one is another and such so I can just click on these and say well on the first position I would like to have um, let's say that W S D icon. So now we have this one on, and we already told our creator team that we are using position zero, and position zero is this one, which is the icon we just added. So if you run this code, you'll see that the icon here has changed into uh, that one we actually wanted. So this was basically what we needed to do to set up the visual part of the achievement. So next we're going to add some more functionality to the achievement so we can actually earn them and everything.